This is about more than just surfing. It's about finding that one thing in life that sets you free. It's too big for the kid. Why didn't you stop him? Because it's not possible. It never was. What was it like living this beach lifestyle? I mean, actually, like I said, this is not this is not what we had in Santa Cruz at all. There's no, no beach there. It's it's point breaks, it's cliffs, and then water. So it's not. I mean, there is some beaches, but that's not where we were filming. Okay. Um, so it was like a lot. It was not as relaxed and lovely as this. Like it was cold. It was freezing. It was raining. It was um, big waves and. and um, scary. So, <laughs> but that's kind lot. of a part of the movie, though. That's right. That's a that's lot of it. Premise. I mean, that's that's. There's a difference between that kind of surfer and this kind of surfer. Uh -huh. It's like there's a hardcore adrenaline that you get. Did you get a chance to surf for the movie? Oh yeah, I surfed every day. What was that like? Were you already a surfer? Or no, I okay. learned when, when I got there, and I just never, never stopped. I, I didn't even. I just was like not very natural for me, and I just fell in love with it. What? So tell me a little bit about your character, Kim. And you're playing a real life person. What was it like bringing a person who, you know, versus a character who's written for you, who's completely yeah, it fictional? Was, it was you know? very unique. Um, I was able to infuse a lot of her actual personality and just what makes her so unique as a woman and as a person, and enough so to be involved in such an amazing like love story mm -hmm. that was her life and is her life. And um, she just has such a, so many qualities that are so inspirational for me as a young woman and what she's dealt with adversity in her life and losing the love of her life mm -hmm. at such a young age and um, she just has a really amazing strength that I wanted to bring to like this teenage girl because she's always been that way and she's one of the boys and she's rough and tumble and like get in there not afraid of anything uh -huh. and you know she was just right there alongside Jay doing just what he you know just no fear and I feel like that's such a cool kind of girl to have in it's a great the message spotlight right now for young girls out there. Yeah, I think, as just well. to like abandon vanity and just live your life and not care what you look like, not care what you weigh, not care what boy likes you. Just be yourself and like learn things about yourself. You know. Did you have to go through any intense training, any surf school or anything? I did. The yeah, movie? I did surf school for three weeks. What was that experience like? It was just amazing. I knew right away that this was going to be a big part of my life. And I mean, you've already been through some incredible training for the Hunger Games. Of yeah, course. I was that already was a... in like good shape from the Hunger. Thank God. This came cause... after the Hunger Games. Right. Okay. Yeah, right after. How would you sort of um, describe each of these experiences head to head? How are they different? How are they similar? Oh man, the Hunger Games is very like high stress, like hot, sweaty, physical contact training gyms. I didn't see the inside of a gym while I was doing this movie. Like I was this in the was water. This was your gym, right? This was my gym right here. And I got in better shape than I've ever been in my entire life and I'm so bummed that I don't have that body anymore. Um, <laughs> than I ever did in any gym. I and mean, this is a workout. It's the, I mean, I was doing it 4 hours a day like every day. And I got in the craziest shape. I have seen I saw muscles on myself I've Where never did that seen. Come from? I just was like shocked and I was so happy and just like it just showed me that if I just push my, my body, like, physically and just doing something that I love to do and stop torturing myself, mm -hmm. that it's actually a bigger payoff. You want to slay that dragon all by yourself, or is your rent a dag going to help you out? This is about more than just surfing. It's about finding that one thing in life that sets you free. It's too big for the kid. Why didn't you stop him? Because it's not possible. It never was.